Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to delete layer in AutoCAD. So first, we can delete layer via layer properties. And number two, delete layer using the ladle command. So example, so first we are going to, to create a layer. So we'll go to layer properties. Here, click the icon for new layer. Then I'm going to give a name. Our layer line one. And then enter. So it says here layer zero cannot be deleted. So layer. So this layer zero cannot be deleted. Then we also have the current layer. So if we want to make a current layer, we're going to select that layer. So there are two ways to make a current layer. Number one is going to the layer properties, select the layer. Or another way is we're going to select the layer here in the layer panel so there there is a ply out select the ply out then here we cannot choose which layer we want to be the current layer so we'll select the line one so this is now our current layer and it says here that this layer cannot be deleted the current layer cannot be deleted so we'll go to the layer properties then we will try to delete this so we select this and then this is the icon for the delete layers so it says the selected layer was not deleted because this was the current layer another one is you cannot delete if the layer containing an object so we will try so at the line one current layer we are going to create a circle so now our layer line one has the object circle so we will change our current layer to layer zero then we we'll go to the layer properties then we are going to try to delete the line one layer so we select the delete layer again the selected layer was not deleted because the layer containing an object okay so if if we want to delete this layer we first have to delete the object so we'll use the erase command to select the object enter so now our line one has no object and our line one is not the current layer so this means this layer can now be deleted so we'll select delete layer as you can see the line one layer now has been deleted so another thing is we cannot delete the the xrep dependent layer so again we are going to to create a layer then we'll type again line one okay. enter So now this we are going to use the method to in deleting a layers using the ladle command. So here let's say we are going to create an object for our layer. So let's say line one is our current layer. Then we are going to create a circle, and then we are going to to make a dimension. As we remembered that the depth point layers is related to a dimension when we're going to create a dimension automatically 
in our layer will be generated a depth point. So right now, we don't have a depth point. So we're going to make a layer for the dimension. Then we will change the color. Okay. And then select the dimension layer to be our current dimension. Then you'll get the diameter of this circle. Okay. So now if we're going to our layer properties, we can now see that we have a depth points layer because we just created a dimension. Okay, so now in deleting layers via the layer properties. It says here, we cannot delete the dev point. If you want to delete a dev point, we cannot delete a dev point. So if you want to delete a dev point, we are going to use the ladle command. So we'll type ladle, enter, and then it says select object on the layer to delete. Or we're going to select the name, press N, or we will select the name here. And then here we have a choice to delete. So we'll use the depth point. Then we'll select OK. Then it says here we are about to delete layer depth points, which is reference in block, and all object on this layer will be deleted and the reference block will be defined. Do you wish to continue? So we'll say yes. And then if we're going to our layer properties, the depth points now is deleted. Another one here in the deleting layer via layer properties, it says here we cannot delete layer which is the layer containing object. So right now the dimension has a dimension. So we will change our current layer to line 1. Then we are going to delete the, the dimension layer which is has a dimension in the object. So we'll type ladle to select the layer to delete. So we'll select it. Okay. Then okay. Then here, as we can see, it says here select object delete. We select the dimension and then the selected layer to delete it. Okay. So if we're going to, do you wish to continue? Then you say yes. So let's check to our layer properties. The dimension layer which has a while ago is now deleted. Okay. So we, we don't see anymore the dimension layer. So another one is the layer one has an object in the deleting layer by a layer properties so this layer one that has an object cannot be deleted but using the ladle command even the layer has an object that layer can be deleted but the layer which is the current layer this is cannot be deleted even using the ladle command so let's try. So we're going to make our current layer the zero. And now we're going to delete the layer one, which is the layer one has an object. So we'll type ladle, enter. Then we'll type name, n. Then it says here, layer to delete. Then we have the line one, which is as an object. So we can delete it using the ladle command. Select the OK. Then delete layer. So automatically, when we delete the layer using the ladle command, the object was also deleted. So if we check in our layer properties, we only have the zero layer. The zero layer, even using the ladle command, the zero layer cannot be deleted. So the difference between deleting a layer by a layer properties and using the ladle command is that the ladle command can delete the depth points and also the layer containing object. 
so this is how to delete a layer using the one and two option okay so next we have number three how to separate the x rep or the external reference dependent layers from the current dwg layers first we're going to create a layer for the current layer so let's say we have nine nine one and nine two okay so this layer are in our current drawing and now we're going to insert the external reference so we'll go to the insert and then attach then in my desktop i have a floor plan to insert and then okay i'm going to escape so 0 0.01 enter and for my insertion point let's see here then the rotation zero okay so now we have the x rep if we're going to our layers we can see now we have a layers for our external reference mix up with our current layer in our drawing so we are going to separate our external reference layer from our current layer okay so by going to this one here the filter the property filter and then here filter definition we're going to give a name then here we're going to type and then you select the ok so here you can see now we separate our current layer to the external reference layer so here this is our external reference layer the, then we have the non xrep layer so our current layer will be under the the non xrep layer or the non external reference layer so here we separate the layers so that we can easily see our current layer so this is how to separate the external reference layer from the current layer in our drawing last we have how to remove the x rep dependent layer from the current layer because as you can see we cannot delete the external reference layer if you want to delete this we cannot delete it says here external reference the x rep dependent layers cannot be deleted because this layer are, are dependent layer from the original drawing so if we want to remove this layer we can detach our external reference layer we cannot delete it but we can detach it from our current drawing there are two ways so one we can just we can single click then we have the external reference layer okay or another way is we can access the view command and then then under the palette we're going to click the external reference palette then here we have the the x rep this is our dw3 this is our current dwd file and this is the external reference so we're going to select this and then right click then we'll choose the detach then automatically our x rep will be removed and the layers of the x rep we're going to our layer properties we cannot see anymore the layers for the external reference so this is it guys on how to delete the layers and how to separate the external reference from the current layers
and how to detach the external reference from our current row. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to receive the latest video from this channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.